Hello world, Christina here. I had this idea for a video a while back that I wanted to do some fan art for this guy called George Motes on the First We Feast YouTube channel. And I've really just been enjoying his content. He kind of reminds me of some of the zany college professors I had when I was still in school. I thought, oh, I should make a video that's fan art for burgers. That would be great. Oh. My light lost power, but we're gonna keep going. Actually, let me just plug it in. It's fine. All right, close enough. So like I said, I wanted to do some burger fan art. So let's get started and kind of see where this burger journey goes. So, like I said, I wanted to do some burger fan art, pretty much planned for the end of next month, so it would have been the end of December or the beginning of January, but then I was at work and I was switching out yesterday's newspaper for today's newspaper, which is just kind of part of the daily routine where I work, and I was really, like, excited because George Motes was on the, the front page of the local newspaper. That's so cool. I decided to uh, make my production on this burger fan art video a little bit faster, and uh, this way I could talk about George Motes a little bit and uh, how he's his videos have kind of been helping me learn how to cook, and his, his videos have just been a, a break from the craziness of the outside world. And I decided to feature three different burgers in this fan art. And of course I had to feature the butter burger on the bottom because that's a Wisconsin favorite. Uh, just ask Culver's over there. <laughs> the other burgers are just burgers that I have seen on his videos. So I wanted to kind of give a little bit of uh, depth and difference to the different burgers that I chose. I also want to talk about how I tried a new technique. It's called value painting and I talked a little bit about it in my last video where I drew snowmen, but this time I did a little bit of research, talked to a couple friends, and tried some new stuff with how I did the blending modes on my different layers. I'll talk about that when we get there, but it was a crazy ride. So what you can see I'm doing here is I started with a black and white layer on the bottom and then on top of that I have a new layer that I'm painting with uh, transparent color on top of. And this is how I thought value painting was supposed to go originally. I have since been told that your top layer of color is supposed to be uh, with some different settings, essentially. So this doesn't look too bad. However, you can see when I change the blending mode, one of the settings that the, the layers have, basically, it changes it drastically. And it actually makes it so that the black and white layer that I made gives more detail to the colored layer. And that's the whole point of value painting, is that the black and white layer is supposed to basically give you the the base of all of the shadows within a an object essentially and so you should be able to just lay your uh your color on top of that for the most part and that's not true when uh you're painting the way i did at the beginning of the video so here you can kind of see the difference me going back and forth but in the interest of doing this the right way and trying it uh, the, the way that everybody else does it, because I'm experimenting with this, I decided to start with a new layer. I saved my old version just in case, and I did like some of the colors that were going on in the old version. 
So I exported that as a PNG so that I could kind of steal the colors a little bit in doing this new version. But you'll see me just kind of playing around with the different colors and looking back and forth between the layers because I really liked the way that the little piece of onion turned out in the first version. So I kind of stole that and copy and pasted it onto the new version. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but I'll just let you see with your own eyes from here on out. It is just art and uh, I will talk to you again at the end of the video. So that's a wrap on the burger fan art for George Motes and First We Feast and Burger Scholar Sessions and all that cool stuff. I think it turned out really well, but I am still not really confident in my value painting abilities, so I'll probably keep playing with it and see what I can do with it. But we'll see how much it actually uh, pops up in future videos. It is something new, so it's just taken a little bit of time to figure out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check out George Motes and all of the other cool things that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Uh, all of the creators really work hard and they're just supporting them is a really good thing to do. With that being said, thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. I'll give you a thousand experience points just for getting this far. And if you could please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and maybe even check out my Patreon, that would be great. All of my social media tags are at UBDraws. Make sure to follow me to get uh, announcements about new videos and see behind the scenes stuff. And if you really are interested in behind the scenes stuff, please subscribe to my Patreon at UBDraws again. Uh, it's a really cool platform and I've been uploading at least once a week, if not two or three times. So it's really a good place to check out exactly what I've been doing behind the scenes here, trying to get my YouTube channel up and running and all of that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys next week Wednesday. Peace.